I grew up, that's all we ate was fish every day. We never got tired of it. A lot of the kids, you know, they won't eat fish. And I think it's important for them to keep on using our own food, you know, like fish and deer meat and berries. Oh my God, I wish you could smell this. Horn am the dem gubbin, the you get and I said fish is good to eat to keep you healthy. My name is Melody Leesk. I am from Malakatla, Alaska, and I'm a Simshian native. And this beautiful young woman standing next to me is my daughter, Naomi Leesk. And behind Naomi, her biggest cheerleader and her biggest supporter is Miss Sierra, who's taking a little nap right now. We're going to go ahead and make one of our um, dishes called kajumps. I've learned to say kajumps. Naomi will let you know another way that we say it. Uh, kajumps is kind of a slangy way to say it. It's actually tuck jumps. Tuck means all, the jumps means boil. So we're going to go ahead and start off with adding the onions. We chopped up some onions here. And if you noticed, um, Naomi chose to leave the skin on the salmon and we sliced it really thin and <clears throat> into bite sizes and we have the skin on there and we want the skin on there because of all of the nuts the good oils that the salmon produces here. The hatchery is owned by Metlakatli Indian Community. The Tamgus Creek Hatchery has been in existence here since 1980. We rear about 20 million chum is what our goal is, two and a half million cohos, 500,000 kings, and about a couple hundred thousand sockeyes. The hatchery's main purpose is actually to produce fish for fishermen to catch. When we're giving away fish, um, mainly that it's the elders and people that don't have boats that, that are in the lineup. Uh, most people that have a boat, they're actually, they can catch fish and, and just bring them home at the end of the, end of the day. Where it's, I would say 90% of the people don't have a boat that we, we give them away, and mo elders and people that don't have boats. So. So we're going to go ahead and add these nice sliced new potatoes. And I love that it's low sodium too. And this was also provided by the FDPIR program. My name is Amber Booth. I'm from the Metlakatla Indian Community. This is our FDPIR program. That's the food distributions on Indian reservations. So the FDPIR program is available to all community members. Um, it provides an alternative means for SNAP, but it also provides more nutrients dense foods. Um, living in Alaska, it is very difficult to sometimes obtain uh, any fruits and vegetables. The program has just recently introduced produce into the program where you can get potatoes, onions, baby carrots, um, things along that line, apples, and they're trying to expand as much as possible. I actually had one elder who had obviously used a, a food bank in the past where they'd get like maybe a box. They came here and it was a house of like four or five, so they got a lot of food. We brought out a box and she goes, oh, thank you. And we brought out another box and we brought out another box. By the end, we had filled her trunk full of food where she was in tears giving us a hug. Something like that makes you definitely appreciate the job you're in. Um, it, it, it grounds you. So we're gonna go ahead and let this simmer for about three minutes. Then we're gonna call it good. And then after we let it simmer, we're gonna add the gouty or most commonly known as olekin grease. We're gonna add about a tablespoon into the boiled salmon or the kajumps or the tajumps. And then when we're sitting on the table, we're gonna go ahead and pull the seaweed out and add the seaweed in with the boiled salmon. So that's it. Real simple, real good.